we have maybe have a few stand over here. We'll bring the press in so we get a good picture here. And why don't you wait for your presentation? We get all the uh, press in. Mm. I was broadcasting some football games at the University of Iowa, my first job, and every once in a while the engineer would run the game down and then give me the signal and I would have to tap the, <laughs> the microphone to, to, get the yes, yeah. to loosen it up again. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, I was resurrected and I am very pleased right. and proud to have that. It is the real thing, too. It's not a, it's not a carbon yes. copy. No. Well, thank you very much. Well, on behalf, it is being presented to you on behalf of the National Radio Broadcasters Association for your outstanding use of radio in communicating with the American people, and we appreciate it. Well, now thank you very much. I, uh, I always enjoyed it, and I've always said it, but I don't know of anything that came on the scene in my lifetime that had quite the glamour quite the impact that radio did. Television, with all its press size and all that, I guess it didn't have the same thing because it was just kind of another form of like doing movies, but this, when it started, and suddenly you were hearing voices and music and so forth from uh, all over, it was, uh, and I was glad to be in very early in the game and then used it again, of course, uh, several years after I left the governor's office, and, uh, five days a week, and, and I'm using it one day a week now. And very effectively. Mm -hmm. Well, now well, thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, unless they throw me off. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Yes. Yeah. Well, I'm very pleased and proud to have that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Do you Some of them are not that new, but we're just having an opportunity to get them in. What we're doing now, instead of letting you see people as they leave, we're letting you see them as they come in so you'll know them when they, while they're here. Oh, well, yes. Yeah. Uh, Five, four, five. 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 Four, this is not a possessed group. I don't think anybody in this group possessed. The rest of them are. Just, just I don't insulted. Know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, in relative uh, comparison to the Sam Dawson and Helen Thomases who've been here for since maybe I'll do it anyway. You can still call them. So I don't know. I don't know well for that dimension. So we'll do this group. You going to do another one soon? Yes, we are. Thanks, Rob. But mid July, mid uh, mid August. Before you go, before you go, before you go, 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 go. Um, Yes, I think there's one scheduled for. 
couple of weeks. Oh, in, within the next couple of weeks. Yeah. All right. We'll be there. I think every question will be on the briefing book. At that mm -hmm. point. You think every question will be on the briefing book at the next one? I hope not. <laughs> and I tell you something: no one's ever going to make me sorry. I said it was much ado about nothing. <laughs> it is much ado about nothing. But anything that the FBI can find, uh, and I told our people, I want everybody to tell them everything. We haven't got a thing to hide. Are you upset by it all? Hmm? Are you upset by it all? Personally? Uh, no, other than the, the fact that there, there are so many important things going on that I, I think there's a lot of wasted time and effort after the last press conference. What do you think we ought to be talking about? I mean, what, what's sort of key to you right now? Well, now, if you'd like to have me suggest some questions. Sure, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I won't promise to ask them, but I'll sure listen. Well, no, but there's, to say nothing of the hill and the budget things that are going on in Central America. The Middle East, a number of things that I think really are, and the economy. Do you still expect to have to veto some spending bills? The what? Do you still expect to have to uh, veto some spending bills, or do you think that's going to be worked out? I, I have a feeling I will, yes. But I also am very reassured by the letter that has been brought down to me with 146 names on it, guaranteeing they will support it. Veto uh, a number of spending bills that they have uh, particularly fixed. When are we going to let us know if you're running again? At the last latest. We got that impression. <laughs> right. yes. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thanks very much. See you at the press conference. Okay. D.C. National Guard in 1905. Okay. There may be a couple still photographers on this one. 1886, so that makes it 97 years old. Both World Wars, active duty, and uh, the Mexican border, war with Pershing, not war, but Let's walk in a few more feet here for these yes. He's John Franklin, Mr. President. Yes. Well, sir, how are you? Come on there. Jack, I went to Petsinger. Well, hopefully, too. Jack, how are you? Nice to see you again. Nice to see you, man. Well, I met the French as a VA. He represents the Army in the District of Columbia. Hi. Hello there. President, we have two of you moved down and I welcome the members of the press. Oh, Glad to see those pictures on the television. You really got a speak for them. Tell me. That's right. How is it? Just fine. Yeah. Just fine. The general's 97 years old. I know. Yes, sir. I know. Then where are you? I'm right here. I'm right here. Mr. 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 I'm going to have to work off the heart yes. of financial service, yes. a record of service to the country, the equal yours. <coughs> Two world wars on yeah. the border with Persia, yeah. the Mexican border. I just have a little souvenir of this here. Yeah, uh, thank you. It's a tie bar. Can I do this? You sure can. <laughs> <laughs> and congratulations. Thank you. I wanted to come down the other day from here. Well, yeah. my briefing said Colonel, but I see the stars on there yeah. already. Yeah. Well, he, he, uh, he just promoted no, here. Yeah. 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 General Frank is doing a great job for us, of course, at the well, DC National Guard. Well, that's great. Major General. Right. We're just honored to be able to promote the yeah. great well. And Minton Francis represents the Department of the Army as a civilian for the District of Columbia, and is a public for our civilian aid. Well. He does a tremendous job. In, in We're great admirers of what you're doing, Mr. President. 
by this and other things to build up the image. Well, thank you very much. Thank you, and thank you for coming in. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. What shall we do? Right after we see you. See you Sunday. Good to see you. Peace out. Yeah. I will. You're looking good. Oh, I will. You go too. President, okay. thank you very much, sir. Great pleasure. Good to see you, Mr. President. Yeah. Good to see you. Thank you, Mr. President. Good to see you again. Mr. President. Serious, they need to be addressed, and frankly, uh, what the National Organization on Disability and we all are doing is encouraging local voluntary action and private sector initiative. We have programs that were started in the International Year of Disabled Persons in over 1,200 communities throughout the country, led of course by San Francisco. <laughs> but uh, we believe that we can make a difference over time in the lives of 35 million disabled persons and uh, create great leadership in the world that will benefit a half a billion disabled persons. And I don't want to take uh, Ernestina's time, Mr. President, but I know that she has uh, important words to say to you. Mr. Right. I need to get a picture of the two of you together. Oh, we just two. You want me? Down a little bit here. Yeah, that's nice. Huh? <laughs> 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 All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. I'd like to ask you, um, if you could uh, please sign a uh, paper for the um, people that are handicapped on disability. In the decade, decade of disabled persons proclamation yes. for people throughout the, the world and especially yes. in America. Right? That's right. We'll have it down to you in a few weeks. All right. Thank and you. I will sign it. You can okay. depend on that. And uh, this is a little, there's a little glass jar in here and it has this seal engraved on it, which is the presidential seal and my name engraved on it. But Thank inside, you. Our jelly beans. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Can you right. sign my um, autograph book for me, please? Mm -hmm. I sure would. Thank you. I'd be very proud to. Pretty fancy, wasn't it? Yes. <laughs>
giving you more than the other graph. Yeah. 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 Well, as he personifies what's great about this country, and that's uh, courage and people doing more for themselves and expanding opportunity and not just looking to the government for help. Yes. And I think what you are doing and the help that your company is is typical of what we want to see going on and that is going on to uh, people cooperating. Could you say one more for my friend? <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. my, her name's Jerry. Jerry? Yeah, Jerry is his book and then I'll come on to G E or G E. Just G E R R I. Right. All right. Take a bunch of yeah, these fellows are going to take a lot of pictures. Well, give this to uh, President. Thank you. Well, 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 thank you. Hi. 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 I'm a college student. Nice I'm a college student at the American University in Washington, and I'm sure you always hear the media reports that students are discontent with your administration. And I went around campus doing like an impromptu interview, and I found out that a lot of students feel you're doing a very good job. And I just wanted to be the representative well, to come you. and tell you that we're very proud to have you as president. Well, thank you very much. And I'm sure you don't hear that very often, but I no, wanted to make sure that I'm you heard it firsthand. I'm very pleased to hear. Thank you. And on behalf of uh, the many students at the American University, I'd like to present you with a sweatshirt. Hey. And thank you. Hi. Thank, thank you very much. And please thank the others. That yep. Involved. Many students feel that we have a great president. I just wanted to let you know that. Well, I'm most grateful. Okay. Thank you very much. Please tell them. Thanks. All right. Sure.